a question here about how to track the warm audience on Facebook, uh, because I talk about using Facebook ads to reach one's warm audience, because the warm audience are the ones that are most likely to buy from us. And with Facebook, warm audience is really easy. I mean, easy, surprisingly easy to build, because even if someone watches three seconds of a video that you uploaded to your Facebook business page, they're automatically roped into your warm audience for ads purposes. Or if someone clicks on continue reading for your Facebook text only post, they're also roped in. If someone visits, merely visits your Facebook business page, they're automatically roped into your warm audience. So how do we discover uh, what the size of our warm audience is? So let me go ahead and show you on the screen here. Um, so you first, now I have a, Facebook ads course that goes in depth into all of this. So I, I, for the sake of this recording, I can't make it too long. So I'm just gonna show you real quick. You have to go to the Facebook ads uh, manager, the audiences tool, which once you go to Facebook ads manager, um, you would click on all tools on the left and you would click on audiences to, to get to where I am today. And then what you do is you click on create audience, you click custom audience, you click Facebook page. You can also do a warm audience for your Instagram account. People who have checked out any of your Instagram videos for three seconds, or they have they have done a, a single swipe on a carousel post. That's all. That all includes them in your warm audience. Um, so let's just say Facebook page, okay? And then you would select your Facebook business page, and then you that's simply this. Everyone who engaged with your page for the last 365 days, you could do you could do different warm audiences. You could say. A uh, one-year warm audience, that's a maximum, by the way, that you could do 365. Uh, or you could do like a 30-day warm audience. It's up to you. You could do multiple audiences for multiple ad purposes. But let's say 365. And then you simply name it um, FB Engagers 365. Again, this is a really, really super quick tutorial. And then you've created uh, a warm audience of Facebook engagers. And then you could basically search it. Now, right now, it's populating. So it's just below 1,000. But if I, if I do 365, I, I've already created one a long time ago. And I'm going to go to, for, for example, okay, there, here we go. Um, uh, let's see, Facebook, I'm going to say engagers. Okay, search for, oops, uh, engage, uh, FB. Let's see what's going on here. Facebook, Facebook, uh, where is my, 365. All, all 365. Okay, all engagers, there, there you go. So my one year, in one year, I have, I've had about 88,000 people engage, warm audience engage on my Facebook business page in some way that I can easily reach again with an ad. So again, this is somebody who either watched any of my videos for even three seconds, or they click continue reading, or they visited my page, or they commented, or they liked, or they shared one of my Facebook business pages. You see, so um, the other the other thing about warm audience that I'm not going to show you in this short video is you can also upload your email list to the Facebook ads manager audiences so you can reach your email list through Facebook ads, meaning your email list subscribers when they serve Facebook and they see it, you can you can show them your ad, your call to action, your your content, whatever you can also install a Facebook pixel on your website so that when anyone visits your website assuming that they are allowing cookies that have cookies turned on and not blocked, the cookie from your Facebook pixel will recognize who they are on Facebook and go, oh, okay, so next time they're on Facebook, we can show them your ad. So that's called a website warm audience. And you can combine all of these into a single warm audience on Facebook. That's what I do. So it's very easy. When I run an ad, I want to sell another course. I want to sell a book. I want to sell an event or whatever it is, or just want to share a message. I could just go, hey, there's my warm combined audience website. Uh, email list, Facebook, Instagram, I combine them all together and I'm just going to boop, I can send them all out like just like that. And um, so anyway, this, that's why it's so useful to use Facebook and learn the Facebook ads platform. Hope that helps.